friends, this is Maitreyi bringing yum 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 recipes to your kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make orange loaf cake recipe. So this recipe is very much similar to the pound cake recipe. That's why the texture and the color of this orange cake looks exactly like pound cake. But in this recipe we are going to add some orange juice and that's going to give some tanginess and making the taste very unique in this cake. And also in this cake we are going to top with some orange glaze that makes this cake super moist and delicious. So without any ado, let's see how to make this recipe. Okay, so first you need to heat the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees centigrade. So I've just started the oven. And also you need to take the loaf pan and uh, you have to add some butter in it all around the corners. I just used some olive oil and then brushed all around it. So keep this uh, pan aside. This is a bread pan I'm using. So first you need to take a medium bowl and uh, add the butter. I kept this outside um, so that at room temperature it will be soft. So the butter should be soft. So if you didn't have time and you didn't keep it outside, you can um, add the butter sticks to the bowl and then microwave it for 30 seconds. So I think that will make the butter very soft. So my butter is soft, but I think I still need a little bit softened. So I'm going to heat this in the, in the microwave for 30 seconds. So while the butter is heating up, let's mix all our dry ingredients. So here, uh, taking a white bowl and then adding two cups of all-purpose flour. So in this, mix one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and one fourth teaspoon of salt. So mix everything together and keep it aside. So here, the butter is melted. I'm, I'm taking it away from the microwave. Um, so to this we need to add one, one cup and one fourth cup of sugar. So add sugar and I'm taking the uh, cake mixer and then just give few steps. So to this I'm going to add vanilla extract. So now it's time to add eggs. Take one egg at a time and then crack it open and add to the wet mixture. So add one egg at a time and then give a stir and then add another egg. So I have given about 12 to 15 strokes with this mixture. So now the mixture is almost ready. So to this I am going to add um, orange zest. So in this recipe you can use uh, any uh, orange juice but I like to use uh, freshly squeezed orange juice because this recipe also calls for the orange zest. So when I squeeze the juice out of the oranges, I can get some zest uh, from the fresh oranges as well. That's why I like to use fresh orange juice. So I'm adding orange zest here. It's going to give very nice little tiny orange spots in your cake. That's going to make it look beautiful. So, so uh, now I'm ready with the wet mixture and the dry mixture. So now we have to mix it both with the orange juice. So the bowl I used before was small, so that's why I transferred into the big white bowl. So now, um, here I'm using one cup of orange juice. So from this, you need to take uh, one fourth cup. So you need to take one fourth cup and reserve this to make glaze out of it. So, um, so in the batter, we are going to use three fourth cup of juice and we are using one fourth cup of juice for the glaze. So now like when you are mixing, you have to do this alternatively. Take one third part of the flour and then add it and then half of the orange juice and then again add the remain, uh, another one third and then add another orange juice and then end with the, the flour. So now, okay. See like this is the mixture I got. Look at the color, it's so beautiful. And uh, can you spot the tiny orange spots? That's nothing but the orange just. It's going to give very nice taste uh, to the cake. Uh, so now we are done with it. Let's transfer this to the prepared pan. Okay, so now I have transferred this batter into the pan. So make sure that you tap it on all sides so that it helps any of the egg pockets to come out and making the cake uh, stay intact within the pan. So now the oven is ready at 350. 
So we're going to keep this in the oven and leave it for about 55 minutes. Let's check back uh, in another 50 to 55 minutes and then we will, we'll, meanwhile we're going to prepare some glaze. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make the orange glaze. So for this you need uh, one cup of confection sugar that is nothing but the powdered sugar. So I'm adding this here. And the orange uh, juice that we reserved, one fourth cup, we're going to add it. And that's all. Now you need to mix it until you get like a glaze consistency. See like I have been now mixing for 5 minutes making sure that the sugar lumps are not formed. So finally I got the glaze consistency. So, so after 55 minutes I took it out of the oven. It cooked perfectly and I inverted and let it cool for 2 more minutes. So that's why I got a perfect shape here. So now we have to decorate this with the glaze. So for that you have to poke some holes into it. Uh, I'm taking a fork here and then just uh, giving some pokes. Glaze that we made before with orange juice in it. And then pour on top of it. Pour some more. And then take a pastry brush and uh, brush it all over until it sinks into the cake. So you have to do this until you are done with the glaze and if you have any mixture remaining then pour on top of it. So, so see like now I'm done with the, uh, all the glaze here so it, it's uh, sitting on top of the cake. So you need to leave this uh, cake and for two hours so that all the glaze will sink into the cake and also it gives a nice uh, uh, foam coating on top of uh, your loaf cake as well. It's going to taste so delicious and super moist. You can dive into the deliciousness of this cake. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's session. I'll be uh, bringing some more baking recipes. So stay tuned and happy cooking until then. Bye bye.